Hi everybody, uh, something a bit different for you today. Uh, we've just had arrived our new sport line, so this is the T6.1 sport line. Uh, just been released, uh, they've just been arriving at dealers. This is our version here, it's the panel van. Uh, they do a combi version as well, uh, and when we get a combi, uh, we'll take you through that as well. But we thought, uh, uh, why not uh, show you this today and show you the, the details and what you get with the vehicle as well. And the first thing I will point out is this brand new design front bumper. Uh, it's only available on this Sportline model. Uh, you can see this is a lot different to your normal T6.1s. Uh, if you look around the front here, it's actually moulded in around to give you these big open grill section here around the front. Uh, and then obviously you've got the, the bottom valance as it goes round as well to the side. Uh, normal grill, which we see on the other vehicles but we've got the red stripe uh, and that's on all the sport lines which goes across it's a nice deep red stripe that goes all the way around the front that's on there as well and then lower down if I move down to the side it's on here um, obviously these are the plastic grills that come into the bottom section and you've got your parking sensors uh, on either side that's there as well uh, but it's a nice combination between the colour coded and the, the non colour coded uh, that's on the front and uh, love to see what your comments are in the comments boxes below but I think it really does give the vehicle a really aggressive stance uh, from the front of the vehicle. So as with all sport lines past and present, uh, we've got sport line badge on the side on here as well and there's one around the rear of the vehicle so you know what, what you're getting. So you've got sport line there, you've got sport line on the, on the alloy wheels. Uh, you get 18 inch alloy wheels as standard. This particular vehicle is a black edition. So this was a special edition sport line. So when the sport line was launched for ordering, uh, which was quite some time ago now, uh, you could order the standard version or you could order the black edition. Uh, black edition is now sold out. You can't order them anymore. Um, but this is the, the black edition. Obviously, most dealers, etc., of all ordered black editions to start with. Uh, and with the black edition, you get things like the black door mirror caps. Uh, you've got the black sidebars down the side. You've got this really nice detailing around the side here with the you know, black edition so we all know it's a, uh, a black edition that's on there as well and then as we moved around to the back of the vehicle also paint color choice pure gray uh, that's on here really do like the pure gray it's a solid color um, but i think it really does contrast very well with the uh, with the gray and the black contrast as well uh, whole new rear spoiler as well so you notice the front of the vehicle is different we've got the rear here as well which is different to what we would find on a on a normal t6.1 so it goes all the way back to the uh, the actual tailgate line uh, which is on here as well and it's on a combination of two really uh, so we've got the top uh, colour coded section and then this high gloss black which lips all the way underneath very cleverly so you've still got your third brake light at the back and it comes all the way around and get it on from here uh, really do like this spoiler like it a lot um, be nice if we could get this uh, on uh, our other vehicles as well. Uh, so Sportline comes with a tailgate uh, on the panel van version again you've got your, your big Sportline badge on the back um, and then the, in the back we open the tailgate up and I'll open some doors so we can see in uh, LED lights inside uh, to give you from there uh, rubber floor that's in there uh, with the trim as well uh, that's on there uh, and the reason for the rubber floor is because it's got power latching as standard on the passenger door uh, now the only extra this particular vehicle has got is it's got twin side doors so uh, it's got doors on both sides um, so you can get access to it and those doors are power latching so so power latching on the door um, basically as you shut the door the power latching just means you don't need to slam the door so you can literally just let it run slide in so as you can see from the rear, no different to any other, uh, any other panel van. As I said, it's got the rubber floor because it's got the power latching things that's on there as well. Uh, normal bulkhead that you'd find on any, uh, any within the Transporter 6.1 range as well. So uh, the rear of the vehicle is pretty much standard um, that you would find with anyone. Uh, now onto some more exciting things when we actually get inside the cab area. Uh, so the first thing you'll probably notice is the seats. Uh, so the seating wise from in here as well, so with it being the panel van, we've got a single captain seat which has got your armrests on there and then we've got the normal dual passenger seat that's here as well. Uh, but the difference with these is, is we've got the leather uh, stroke suede um, material that's on here as well uh, with the seating with the sport line embossed into the top of the seats. 
we've got the red stitching, which is really nice, really like that's on there. And then you've got your honeycomb effect uh, driving down from uh, throughout the vehicle as well and onto the bottom section as well. Uh, really, really do like uh, these seats. Personally, I think these are the nicest seats we've had uh, on Sportline because uh, I do quite like the, the softer material in the middle of the seats. I think it, uh, rather than just having it uh, hard that's on there, uh, let us know what you think. <laughs> Might be wrong that's there. As uh, I so said, the main captain seats obviously got armrests as well, again with your, uh, your red uh, stitching that's on there. Dual passenger seat, uh, and as normal with all transporters, you've got your storage underneath your seat still uh, that's in there as well goes back down uh, into there, headrests are out as well. Uh, and then we move on to the actual cab area. Now, if you've seen some of our previous videos and we're looking at Callies, etc., you know the 6.1 is a lot more driver focused for the in the actual cab position. So with the steering wheel, uh, the cockpit itself around here is all centered on the driver and the driver's position. Uh, and that's even more so, I think, within the Sportline model now as well, because this one, uh, with it being the commercial range, with it being the, the van or the uh, combi, has got something which is unique just to Sportline, uh, and that is the digital dash. So standard you get the discover media navigation uh, system but with the black edition uh, which is what this one is you get the pro version which gives you the full screen uh, I'll turn this on in a second when we're when I'm sat in here but you get the full uh, full screen no buttons at all that's in here and that's linked to digital cockpit uh, so this is the first C6.1 in a van version or a combi version that actually comes with digital cockpit uh, that's in there which is a lovely option uh, I think it's really nice and it just gives that real premium uh, feel to the vehicle as well Effectively, you're getting the similar thing you would get in a California or a Caravel, and you're getting it in a panel van. Uh, so, you know, you're getting it in the work, the workhorse that's in there. Because a lot of these vehicles as well, though, is that, you know, now we tend to find that a lot of people who are using these vehicles are expecting to get that same comfort and ride level that you would do in those in the California or the, uh, or the Caravel as far as features on the dash are concerned. And we'll have a look at those features in a little bit more detail in a second. And then finally, before we get onto the dash, etc., and things like that that's on there as well, uh, we've got Sportline mats that come in here. So you'll notice it's got a big Sportline embossed on the, on the mat on both sides. And this mat is a three one piece mat. So it goes all the way across and a little bit here for the center console. Uh, which comes up, it's in here and comes round from the there as well. Uh, hopefully maybe we'll be able to get these for the for normal vehicles as well because I like having the, the mat in the centre bit there, I think it's really nice uh, which is on the, the mat and those are all standards so whether you get a, whether you've got a black edition or, or a standard spot on an order you'll get those with it as well.